For me, the music was most important. I really wanted to come to India and dedicate my life to music. I was really impressed with how Ramakant Gundicha was teaching. His teaching was mystical. He had a lot of charisma. He forced himself on me that morning. He pulled my pants off and forcefully had sex with me. This student says one of India's most famous teachers of traditional Indian music sexually assaulted her. She left her home and family in Europe and travelled to India several years ago to learn Thrupad, an ancient form of Indian classical music. It brought her to the Thrupad Sansthan, an internationally recognised music academy run by three siblings known as the Gundecha brothers. Now, she's one among several women from across the world who allege that one of the three brothers, the late Ramakant Gundecha, sexually assaulted her. There are also allegations of sexual misconduct against the other two, Akhilesh and Umakant Gundecha, who now run the academy. Ramakant died in 2019 and Akhilesh and Umakant strongly deny all the allegations. The allegations against the Gundecha brothers first came to light in a Facebook post in September, bringing Me Too right to the heart of North Indian classical music. They've since been widely reported by the Indian media. At least five women who've made the allegations against the Gundechas have shared their experience with the BBC, including Rachel Fairbanks, who says the late Ramakant sexually molested her. She decided to speak publicly and give us permission to show her identity. He asked me to get in the back of the car with him, and I did that. And then he um, he started kissing me, and he um, pulled my uh, pants down and touched my vagina. And I left the Gurukul very soon after that had happened. Um, I ended up not being able to even sit in Ramakant's presence anymore. Rachel's allegations and those of the other women sparked an investigation by an independent panel appointed by the school. But the law prevents us from disclosing details of the investigation and its results. We contacted Umakant and Akhilesh Gundecha, the two surviving brothers. Through their lawyers, both men have strongly denied the allegations against them, stating that vested interests were using this episode as a tool to further their agenda of causing damage to the art and reputation of the Dhrupad Sansthan and the Gundecha brothers. Both men also declined to speak to us on camera. For some in the industry, such as prominent vocalist Neela Bhagwat, the allegations expose the deep-seated patriarchy and power imbalance entrenched in the guru-shishya or teacher-student relationship. The guru expects a complete submission and complete subservience. In the relationship with the guru, the female student is vulnerable. Bhagwat, along with Shubha Mudgal, a household name in Indian classical music, are rare exceptions to have spoken out in support of the students. The male maestros have largely remained silent. It's not known when or if the results of the independent investigation would be made public. For the women, the trauma of what they went through lingers. I have my temper in, in the living room right now and it's going to be sold. <laughs> because, um, you know, I unfortunately can't sing this music without having, um, without having flashbacks. Nikhil Anandar, BBC News, Mumbai.